guys, this is Tim here. I'm uh, going to do a video on how to install an H100 in a Cooler Master Half XM case. <clears throat> One issue I have with this case is there really isn't enough room to do uh, a push and pull config. Um, we've already installed the water block to the CPU. Um, follow the instructions, it's really easy. There's a back plate that goes on and then you just mount with the thermal pad um, into the uh, socket and tighten down the screws. But what I want, really wanted to talk about today was how the radiator mounts in the top of the half XM. So one way you could do this is to come around it's this way. You have to go wide and put it on top. So the reason you have to go this direction is because this cutout is not big enough for the H100. So even though there is a space there that looks like it would accommodate the tubes, it needs to go all the way out to the edge. Um, so you can't actually line up the holes with the uh, screw holes to be able to get it in. So basically you have to mount it uh, with the water uh, tubes this way. There's pluses and minuses to this. So it, this case cannot, with the stock fan or even a normal 120 millimeter fan, there isn't room with the bezel on here for that to clear. So you could do a push-pull if the, the roof was a little bigger here. You could do a push-pull like this with one fan on the inside. Unfortunately, there's not room. With most motherboards, there's also not room to mount the H100 on the inside, put a fan on it, and then a fan in the roof. So you're pretty much, you know, with a case this big, unfortunately, you're pretty much looking at a, you know, either a push or a pull setup. What I'm going to do today is a pull setup. Um, there's two reasons for this. One is I think I'm going to probably go with the Noctua AF, or a NF F120 silent fans and I hate their color. So if I put them up here you won't be able to see them. And it's a win-win because they're super super quiet and they're extremely directional so they will pull extremely well through uh, the radiator. The other way you could do it is a push configuration, um, which they're mounted on the inside. And if I was using my Corsair SP120s, then I would do that because the blue ring would be down, and that's what you would see. And in my theory, too, that would help the system be a little quieter while running. So just some some thoughts on that whichever way you do it the performance is roughly the same you don't really get a performance boost by doing push or pull um, so we're gonna do pull the upside to pull the one upside is that if you want to clean the radiator since this side will be down carefully go back through here careful not to kink the cables um, when it's underneath you can just wipe off the bottom because the fans will be up here so any dust you can just wipe off so the easiest way to mount uh, this H100 always look on your fans for their direction and on these there it's right here so up is that way and I always make sure to um, that my cable is going to point where I'm going to loop through there so basically you just want to roughly align the screw holes to where you think they're going to need to be. And then what I like to do is just sit the drive on there and then try to tag two corners. These are nice because they have little holes on the side so you can actually see uh, when you're going through. Just want to just wiggle it in there. And what I do is I just finger tighten them 
in the corners. Just so that it, it'll hold itself up here. That's a little hard. And you want to make sure, I'm trying not to get in your guys' way here. But it is a little hard to thread these without being on the back side and looking. to do here is make sure you're lined up down at the end and then just tighten these just enough you know so you suck the fan down a little tiny bit so not too much just enough that it'll hold it in there and then grab our other fan again making sure it's oriented correctly and making sure that the the cable will go over here, and in this case, you want to, I think I want to go over the top, or through the middle. Yeah, through the middle will work. And not pinch the cable. And then, I'm going to do the same thing, except to the opposite corners. I've just found, for me personally, that if you're not mounting the fans directly to the H100, that this scenario is just a little easier because um, you don't, you know, you only have to hold it up there for a short amount of time instead of, you know, trying to really hold on to it. Let's see if we can get that last screw in there. So just tighten these down, snug but not too tight, and then we're going to go back through and put in the other four screws. This will be a lot easier because they should be pretty much lined up for you. tighten these down you want to make sure you're not deforming the plastic around the plastic ring around the fan because that will cause noise so you want to go tight but not too tight you know make sure it's it's not going to rattle because you haven't tightened it down enough but at the same time you want to make sure that you're not going to cause noise because you were trying to be you know overzealous in your screw tightening the nice thing with these course new Corsair fans is the rubber tightening grommets you know where the screws go through and tighten has a lot of give so you can actually um, you probably over tighten a little and get away with it on these with the Noctua's I don't know that you'll be able to and with the stock ones you definitely can't so let's go ahead and plug in, actually I gotta loop the through, so in the H100, or the, H, the uh, Cooler Master Half XM, there's a nice little hole right here that goes down to your motherboard. Let's push through. And then these simply plug into, right now I'm plugging directly into the H100 water block. Uh, later on I'm going to do some tests where I uh, try plugging directly into the motherboard header and bypassing the water block. Now, there's been some reports that say that you may be able to get a little less ramp up and ramp down of fans. So... I'm not sure if that's true, but you know, I'll test it for you guys and see what happens. Okay. Now this uh, this is on the high setting. Um, 
because I really wanted to do a worst case scenario. And it's amazing how much quieter this actually is. I'll overlay an image of the stock fans running. In this current config, We see about 56. I've seen it peak up to 60. There we go. So we're looking at 8 dB almost uh, quieter. And the, the noise floor in this room is pretty bad. It's about 42 dB. So um, 8 dB to me standing here. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's a big difference, like a big, big difference. And that's without the cover on right now. So it'll, you know, the cover will dampen the sound a little. So that's my guide on how to install the Corsair SP120 Quiet fans on your H100 in your half XM case. Um, we'll do some comparison tests in another video with the stock fans and with some Noctua uh, NF F120 fans. Um, we'll also try uh, going directly to the motherboard header and seeing um, if bypassing the pumps logic on the fans uh, and letting the motherboard handle that logic, which should be a little more intelligent, is actually any better or not. So this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Please subscribe guys, it really means a lot to me and I'll see you next time.